In this video, I'm going to take you step by step through scoring three different loaves of sourdough bread. These are perfect for spring and summer baking. I'll show you how to score the monstera leaf first. Gently flip your dough out of its banneton onto a piece of parchment paper. I then like to sprinkle white rice flour all over the top of the dough and smooth that in with my hand. You could also use bread flour or all-purpose flour, but white rice flour gives the best contrast. Using my circular bread lom, which I'll have linked in the description below, I first score the outside shape of the leaf. It's almost heart-shaped. If you'd like, you can use a toothpick to gently draw the leaf shape into the flour before scoring it. Score the leaf edge at a medium depth, nowhere near as deep as you would for an expansion score. Next, I score some very shallow cuts through the edge of the leaf on both sides to make the center stem of the leaf barely scratch the surface of the dough with your blade. The cuts through the edges of the leaf look most natural when you vary their length and where they are on each side of the leaf. I like to place a couple of shallow cuts towards the center of the leaf. These will create those iconic monstera holes. Then I like to barely scratch the surface of the dough all around the leaf just to help create some texture. I don't want these cuts to expand too much and distort the shape of the leaf, so I score a deep expansion score all the way around the loaf below the leaf. This will allow the loaf to primarily expand at this spot and keep the shape of the leaf intact. Place your dough into a preheated Dutch oven and bake with the lid on for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, take the lid off and continue baking another 10 to 20 minutes or until the loaf is golden brown. To score the sunflower loaf, flip your dough out of its banneton and onto a piece of parchment paper like usual. Using a toothpick, draw a half circle onto the bottom edge of your dough. Spray just this area with water and sprinkle poppy seeds onto the dough in this zone. Then score around this area. Next you're going to score the sunflower petals. After you're done scoring all of the sunflower petals, spray the petals with water and sprinkle them with turmeric powder. Rub the turmeric powder all over the petals with your finger. I recommend using a glove for this as the turmeric can stain your skin. Then using your blade, scratch the surface of the petals just barely to create texture. I then went back and scored again along the upper edges of the petals to deepen the score to ensure the loaf will expand the most at this point. I then took a small pair of scissors and cut under the tip of each petal. This will allow the tips of the petals to lift up during baking. Then place the dough into a Dutch oven with the lid on and bake for only six to seven minutes. Then take the dough out of the oven, open the Dutch oven, and re-score only along the top of the petals. This will allow the dough to keep opening and expanding at just this point. Replace the lid on your Dutch oven and bake with the lid on for an additional 15 minutes. Then take the lid off and continue baking until the loaf is golden brown. Finally, I'll show you how to make the painted butterfly loaf. I recommend placing your dough in its banneton into your freezer for about 45 minutes to an hour before starting this process. This will help to firm up the dough and give us more time to decorate without the dough flattening out. To make a butterfly stencil, I printed out the picture of a butterfly that I found online. I then placed a blank sheet of paper behind this one and cut out the shape of the butterfly. You don't want to use the paper with the printed butterfly on it as your stencil because some of the ink can transfer onto the dough due to the moisture on the dough. Next, I mixed up my edible paints. I added my choice of colors of gel food coloring to this plastic paint palette. I added blue as well as a mixture of pink and purple. 
I did not come up with this technique for painting sourdough myself. I'll have the TikTok of the girl who I learned this from linked in my description box below. I'll also have links to all of the products that I use in the description box as well. Next, add a little bit of this liquid whitener food coloring gel into each of your colors and mix it together with a wet paintbrush. This will turn the food coloring gel into more of a paint consistency. Once your paints are ready, take your dough out of the freezer and flip it out of its banneton and onto a piece of parchment paper. I then like to dust off any excess flour on the loaf and then spritz the dough with water. This will help our stencil stick. I then placed on the butterfly stencil that we cut out and tried to gently seal it to the loaf with my fingers. I then sprinkled fine white rice powder all over the top of the loaf. After sprinkling it on, I smoothed it into the loaf with my hands. I then very gently removed the paper stencil from the loaf. Next, I'll use this edible ink marker to draw in the body of the butterfly as well as outline the wings. I then painted on the edible paints that we mixed up earlier. I then scored one deep cut all the way around the outside of the loaf. Bake the loaf in your Dutch oven for 20 minutes with the lid on, then remove the lid and continue to bake until golden brown. After taking the loaf out of the oven, I used some of this edible glitter powder on a paintbrush wet with just water and painted it all over the butterfly wings for just a little extra added shimmer. I hope this video inspires you to try some new sourdough decorating techniques. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.